well my dear this is Jal Kumar Sen and uh, in this video tutorial we are going to learn about Newton's law of cooling I hope you are aware about it and today you know if this is one of the law which is really important if you are studying convection just like conduction Fourier's law play most important role in case of convection this Newton's law of cooling really play most important role so you need to understand its basic approach in this tutorial I am going to share with you what is exactly Newton's law of cooling as well as you will learn a numerical problem which has been asked in gate previous year and that question was I think for two and two and four marks that's not bad I think so right so let's go for it but basically what it said said q is equal to h a t s minus t f this h is heat transfer coefficient heat transfer coefficient and unit unit play most important role the heat uh, heat transfer coefficient unit is watt per meter square centigrade or sometimes we have seen watt per meter square kelvin so don't get confused if you we'll see difference in Kelvin and centigrade because other units will be in the respective way right area A means area TS surface temperature surface temperature and TF is fluid temperature fluid may be gas or may be liquid and Q is heat transfer rate which is always in case of heat transfer, heat and mass transfer, it is always in joule per second or watt. Don't get confused, my dear. Keep all these things clear. That's why you will do much better. You will not confused. So this is all about Newton's law of cooling. I hope you are now interested to learn that numerical problem which has been asked in gate previous year paper for four marks okay so let's go for it yeah here is the question in front of you right now only so this is this seems to be really lengthy question i have already read this question you can pause this video you can read the question even you can get all these questions from internet you can easily download but i'm not interested in that i'm not interested to pass your time i'm interested to share with you the question how to solve it we're having two questions each question of two marks and both of them asked in gate previous year so if I'm not wrong, I think this question has been asked in gate 2003, I think so, right? So, here we got two questions. These are two questions. First question is what it said. The value of temperature gradient in the class at the water class interface in Kelvin per meter. First question is that, Kelvin per meter. That means we have to find out temperature gradient, right? yeah so here what we have given right now we have to see that we have given all things we required i have already seen the question so what is the formula for finding out temperature gradient we know that you know it's a topic of conduction i mean we have to use fourier's law for solving this problem okay so we know that q is equal to minus k a d t y t x suppose that this is for class and again we let me write Q is equal to Ka dt by dx. This is for suppose that water because we are having two components here water as well as class, right? So Kk cancel because here A is equal to 1 meter square. We are considering that now Kk, I'm mean, sorry, A is cancelled, Kk having different values, right? So we have given conductivity of water is this and conductivity of class is this. So this is k for water this is k for glass don't get confused here right now what we have to find out water glass interface that means we have to find out dt by d x glass because we have already given so it is y it is given y so we can consider it as y right so we are given what we find uh, what we have given the especially gradient temperature in the water at water class interface dt by dy g so dt by dy it's water glass interface so water w and uh, it is given 1 to 10 to the power 4 okay now what we have to do we have to find out dt by dy g so dt by dy into g is equal to k w k g okay k w by k g small g and uh, 
किया आई हैव टू राइट हियर g सो so, k w by k z into dt by dy it's for w okay now k w k w is 0.6 and uh, k z is k z is 1.2 and so 1 into 1 10 to the power 4 so 0.6 point 6 gets cancelled 10 to the power 4 by 2 so we can say 0.5 into 10 to the power 4 unit would be k per meter so let's check the answer yes it's c it's c so what important things we have used to solve this question let me share with you that thing because probably i have gone little bit fast so let me share with you what exactly we have used to solve this question if i will say nothing we have used because you know all of you probably all of the students those studied heat and mass transfer they are aware of these two formulas i mean at least one formula that is fourier's law because doesn't matter where from where you have studied this hidden mass transfer who taught you but definitely he shared with you the formula of Fourier's law that is q is equal to minus k a d t y d x so what i have used there to solve the problem have you ever seen this i hope so we have seen this so i i haven't used anything else other than this just approach I have approached to solve the problem because I have used few problems related to this formula that's why I got approach so most important thing is that you have to build approach you have to build concept that's why you can solve the problem only knowing the formula cannot help you at all you have to practice more you will practice better you will learn how to solve the problem okay that's why most of the students lack here they got very good marks in the university examination but they are unable to get good marks in the competitive examination where numerical problems ask most of the time so you need to put your whole concentration in it if you are preparing for gate like examination i hope you are getting me right so let's go for the another question which is under this question only I am interested. I am sure you are interested to learn that question, right? So let's go for it. So here we got that question. That is the heat transfer coefficient h in what per meter square Kelvin? Well, I have already shared with you. Just let me share with you what I have shared with you. Just beginning of the video. What is that? Yeah, I have shared with you the unit of s in what per meter square centigrade or what per meter square kelvin because here all units given in this quotient in kelvin in kelvin in kelvin that's why they have asked the here in kelvin so they don't want to get you confused to solve the question they could ask in centigrade okay now the heat transfer coefficient as in what per meter square centigrade i mean what per meter square kelvin so we have to find out h the formula I have already shared with you need on slope cooling, right? So what is that? Q is equal to H A T S minus T F. Okay, we know this formula. I hope you know this formula. But but we have to find out Q first for this, right? Q is K W K W A D T by T Y into W k is what for water for water k is 0 0.6 0 0.6 area i have already shared with you that we are considering one meters because one centimeter square because they haven't provided you the area of the water and all those things so 0 0.6 and 1 into 1 into 10 to the power 4 so it becomes 6000 watt per meter now we already know q equal to this much so we have to find out h so h is equal to 6000 area is 1 ts minus tf it is 1 so what we got ultimately 6000 by ts minus tf okay we got it so remember this use another sheet that's why you can understand it properly yeah now now what we have given in the question that is temperature i mean surface temperature and fluid temperature fluid is what here fluid is fluid is here what let's see this water water is 
48 degree and glass plate surface is exposed to exposed to the water at water at okay glass is 40 degree and uh, you know water is 40 degree so we got here what we got here ts is equal to ts is equal to 48 degree and tf is equal to 40 degree so we have to put both the values here 6048 minus 40 so ultimately what we got here 6000 divided by 8 so if we do this 8 uh, 8 7 4 5 0 so 7 5 0 what per meter square Kelvin the unit, obviously the unit to be like this because all units we have used in what uh, meter as well as Kelvin so this is all about Newton's law of cooling and uh, related numerical problem which problem problem has been asked in gate previous year paper I hope you learned something amazing from this video right so hopefully you enjoy the video thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye